Well, good morning. This is going to be either the last video or the second last video. So there she is, all done up. Everything redone, every nut, every bolt, every electrical connection, every bit of rust buffed off, cleaned up, greased up, properly serviced, all the things. Pretty excited about what this thing can be. So like I said at the start of the first video, this used to be a T-Rex light tower, that the light part of it wasn't serviceable anymore, but the generator was in great shape. So we turned it into something that hopefully is gonna be a handy little tool in all our adventures. It's a three cylinder, 1.1 liter Kubota naturally aspirated diesel engine. It's got a little alternator on it. It's got its own uh, uh, coolant system. So it's a, a water cooled unit and it's got a six kilowatt pancake brand uh, generator, a single phase 250 volt generator. And it'll do 25 amps at 250 volts or 50 amps at 125 volts. Some of the things we had to do with it. So this hitch was pretty badly bent. So we had to straighten that out, gusset that up real nice, remount the jack build the shroud on the front end, build the caddy on the back end, wired in an RV plug and a welder plug. And then we've got room for 60 gallons of water on the front. And the great thing about it is the unit weighs less than 1500 pounds. And there's probably, I would say maybe 70 pounds of tongue weight. Empty, of course, you know, once we put the water in there, there'll be about 500 pounds of water on the front. As far as, you know, just carrying the thing around like by hand, you know, you can, you can move it around no problem, you know, to maneuver it by yourself in a campground or wherever we happen to be. It's nice and portable. And we're going to keep the pindle hitch just because we've got the, the hitch ready for it. So the last and final piece of this puzzle to make this usable for us is we have to build a hitch extension for a camper. The, stabi the, the stabilizing jacks that came off this unit has some really nice three inch square tubing, heavy wall that we're going to use to make the hitch extension and support. And then uh, once that's built, that'll just pin on like that. The camper will be here and then we'll be able to take it on an adventure. <laughs> 